everyone, this is Jen, GUE's Next Gen Scholar and for this month's video we are still in the same country but changing locations. So I've moved across the UAE from Dubai to Dibba and I'm here to spend a few weeks at Freestyle Divers, in particular with biologist James Campbell and the team. I'll be here to assist on some marine conservation surveys and also help them collect their monitoring data as part of their ongoing baseline surveys to eventually put into an environmental management plan. And I'll also leave a blog of my adventures down below. So let's go diving. on a staff trip to see a mangrove centre um, in a protected area in a place called Calva, which was down the coast of the UAE. And it was really nice actually to see the real world impact of what such a actually small protected area can do. So this area um, is full of grey mangrove, so Avicennia marina, and it is about the size of 230 football pitches, if I remember correctly and the carbon offsets, the carbon emissions that are offsets rather, um, accounts for 50,000 cars per year. So, yeah. one has to be when conducting monitoring protocols when taking into account environmental conditions. We were going to go out as a three-person dive team and make three lots of 100 meter line transects. So we were going to have one person uh, reeling the line back in. At the same time, um, they would have a slate or a camera recording uh, the different types of substrate along that transect. So looking at species ID, coral morphologies and any signs of degradation. We would have one person holding S and B and recording the fish species, so key indicator species of that area. And then the third person would be looking at the invertebrates. This is what was going to happen, but actually the current is too strong for us to do this because the line transect is more of a line curve rather than a line. And because we have to swim back and forth, um, the current was just too strong to allow us to accurately uh, move and also film in good time. So instead we're going to deploy a roving diver survey. So all three of us would have a camera as we zoom along the reef and record what was there. And then in the afternoons we would analyse them, see what we have, put that into inventory and send that off for the margin plan. So we did have a grand plan for surveying, but the conditions sadly doesn't allow it. Uh, the current's quite strong. <laughs>
like, comment and subscribe to follow along on my journey. Um, I cannot thank Freestyle Divers enough for letting me tag along in their marine conservation efforts. And also, I just wanted to show that you have to be flexible when collecting data and the importance of having different plans for when things go wrong as well. And I'll see you in a different continent very soon. Bye for now.